Hey folks, today I'm going to show you how you can apply filter sweep effects in your tracks using the Remix Effects plugin in Logic Pro. So let's jump in. So I'm going to play you a bit of my track without the Remix Effects plugin so you get a sense of what it sounds like. Okay, so I want to add a little bit of a filter sweep effect to this intro, and I'm going to use the Remix Effects plugin to do that. So I'm going to apply it to my entire track. So to do this, I'm going to put the plugin on my master bus track. So here I have my stereo bus, which you can see here, and I'm going to put the Remix Effects plugin at the very top. So I'm going to click here, and you'll find it under Multi Effects, and then Remix effects. And now on the left side of the plugin, you'll see we have this filter box with resonance and cutoff. So if I play my track again, I'm just going to click in here and move around, and you'll hear how that affects the sound. So there you can see how that affected my track. Now if I play back my track from the beginning, you'll hear that it didn't actually record in the effects that I performed in the plugin. So for that, we actually need to use automation to make sure it writes in the effect into our track. If you're new to automation, make sure to check out my automation tutorial, which I'll link in the description below. But for this, all we need to do is go down here where it currently says read, and I'm going to change that to touch. And what that's going to do is whenever I touch a parameter in here, it's going to write in the automation to my master bus track. So if we open up our automation by clicking the letter A, or you can do that as well by clicking this icon up here. Now when I click in the plugin, you'll see that it's going to write in the info down here. So I'll show you that. Okay, so now we wrote in the automation. You'll see here, this is where it turns the filter on and off. But if I hit this little arrow, you'll see there's some other parameters in here too. So here's the filter cutoff and then the filter resonance. So if I play this back, you'll see it'll follow these parameters and play it back the exact same way that I performed it in the plugin. So I hope that gave you some ideas on ways you can incorporate the Remix Effects plugins into your own tracks. If you like the track you heard, this is a band called Camaro 67. You can look them up at camaro67music.com and make sure to download your free Logic Corex hotkey cheat sheet by following the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.